Well, the January transfer window sees some footballing fortunes soar and others fall. Former England manager Glenn Hoddle has set up a unique academy working outside of the club system, which hopes to return released youngsters back into the game. Ollie Foster has this special report. At the age of nine, got scouted, playing with my mates. Signed my first contract with Chelsea at ten. When I was in the reserves, obviously a lot of foreign young talent was coming in and players in the first team weren't even getting the chance but well, they're not getting a chance and what does that show for us you know february time march they said we don't see you in our plans for next season from chelsea to the likes of yeovil or some sort got the same feedback near enough everywhere i went told i wasn't big enough so when glenn turned around and said he's got faith in me and he believes in my ability it was a massive lift these are the rejects, spat out of the game, surplus to requirements at Manchester United, Chelsea, Spurs and Villa, amongst others. This is their second, possibly final chance. Shimo. There we go. There you go, son. After coming through a trial last year, this is the first class of the Glen Hoddle Academy. 25 of them, all given a fresh start. <laughs> a room and board and 100 euros a week in a luxury resort and a new set of mates. Let me show you my and Dave's room. It's a bit cosy. Yeah, you're not going to get lonely in here, are you? <laughs> no comment. We're at a time of year, the January transfer window, a lot of players are moving about at the moment. Do you wish that you could be well, there back in England and in the mix? Although it is the January window and you are seeing other players move about, it does make you think, well, I want to move. But we will get our chance over the year. There's no window involved with us. We're good players and we're definitely good enough to be playing in the football league and we should be playing. Get that head up, get that head up, Paul. Once you've said turn. Now, I've had this in my mind since I was Chelsea manager actually, releasing players at 18 and I kept thinking, hang on a minute, we're releasing these boys. We don't know, you know, we're releasing them. I wonder, a bit more time, a bit more coaching. And let's face it, in England, in this type of climate back in, what is it, minus, minus seven I think today, you can't train like this. You don't train like this because you've got matches on a Tuesday and a Saturday. Too many games. Where's their development time? We don't do that in football. And if anyone says we do and we have the time to do it, they're lying. James Simmons had 10 years at Chelsea. Hmm. They didn't think that they were good enough. So what makes... Are you, do you just think they've made a big mistake here with these no, players? it's not about making... I don't think it's about proving anyone wrong. I think people will mature after 18, 19, 20. I really do. How many players did you see in a pretty waddle? When it, a sausage factory, uh, Stuart Pearce, Ian Wright, was 23 when he actually got the actual chance at Palace. And we're not talking about you know, first division players here. Mm. We're talking about internationals. Right foot as well, Paul. A couple of times right foot. Come on. Do you think a lot of lads are released perhaps who's not big enough? Or yeah, well, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The Spanish national team says it all, you know, the amount of small players they've got. Um, yeah, if you're, if you're small, I think you've got to be brilliant in, 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 in our country. You've got to be outstanding. Simo, who you've seen in the interviews with at Chelsea, you know, when he was 14, 15, Everyone was after him, you know? But everything you look about Simo, he can make it. But I've looked at quite a few championships games since I was back in England. We've got some better players than them. The likes of yourself and a few, quite a few of the other boys, I'm very confident in saying, look, you know, have a look at this lad. It's a simple business model. Find a club that wants to buy them and take a cut of any future transfer fee. The academy costs £2 million a year to run and it's not a charity. Private backers are funding Hoddle's dream. The reality is that they need to make a return. For it to work for any length of time, rather than maybe a couple of years, we, we do need to make it work as, uh, on a financial level. Now, that means these players that go back into football, they'd go back at a, a, a certain level, but obviously we'd have to be hooked onto how many games they play and how they progress as players. Now, you know, I'm not saying that we can get them straight back into La Liga or maybe, or, or that. there is a couple of La Liga sides monitoring a few of our players or straight into the Premiership. Maybe the Championship, I think so, definitely. You know, probably out of 20, 25 lads that we got, so you know, there's a good four, five, six players, I think, will go to a very good level. And the rest, are, there's quite a few also we will find teams for. I really do believe that. And when you do 
inevitably release some of these guys. Um, that's going to be a big knock for them as well because they've only, you know they've been released by their yeah. their academies in the last 12 months that as well. The, that was the main just thing I said to them at the very beginning. The nature of life, the nature of football, is you know there's a certain level of skills that have been needed, and if you haven't got the skills in any job, in any business, you have to be released. Special luck, guys. This is a big project for me and I'm absolutely passionate about it. You know, I was happy being a manager and if I manage in the future I would be, but I've turned down probably nine, ten jobs, opportunities, international football, club football. But this is changing people's lives. If we can get a few of these lads back, or more than a few, we've, you know, we've changed their whole complete life. I just think you've got to really, sometimes, as a sportsman, you've got to be an actor. You go over that white line, you've got to become arrogant. You've got to say, I'm the best on the pitch here and I'm going to prove it. I believe I'm good enough to be playing football at the moment in the league, but this, this is life and you have to get on with it, and I'm sure it will turn out good in the end. So what do you think of Glenn Hoddle's latest project, then? I think, I think it's a really good idea because, you know, a lot of these kids were sort of released at 18, and, you know, what did you know at 18? A absolutely nothing. You thought you did, but, mm. but you didn't. So they've already had a pie in the face, as it were, so they go there, and it's, it's almost like a second chance for them, so they know they've got to work hard. And the thing about going there as well is it's all technique, technique, technique. I, th I, think, I think there'll be quite a few get picked up, and as Glenn Hoddle rightly says, they're not looking for them to go into the Premier League or even La Liga, although maybe the odd one or two will go. Championship, but, you know, if, you, if they can go from there to B, in professional football, mm. that's what it's all about. It's a about. Great, a great opportunity, isn't it, for those kids? And if you can just get one out of there that goes on and progresses, then it's been a, a good decision. Okay.